Hey everyone, it's Lorelai. Today I've got a quick and easy tutorial on making auto tiles for RPG Maker. My previous auto tile video is a bit daunting because of the base reference setup. So for this video, we're going to keep things simple. No base reference needed, just create your tile how you want it, and I'll show you how to make it work for RPG Maker. First, make a new document that's 96 by 96. Turn the grid on to 24 by 24. This will be our draft tile. These 24 by 24 cells are the corners of the tile, these longer cells are the sides, and this 48 by 48 cell in the middle is the main repeating pattern. Draw what you want the tile to look like, keeping in mind that the edges of the tile need to be on the outside cells. You can use the brush tool for a painted style or the pencil tool for a pixel style. Now we're going to turn these cells into smart objects. Grab the marquee tool, turn on snap, and highlight the top left corner. Right click and select layer via cut. Then right click that new layer and select convert to smart object. Go back to the first layer and this time we're going to highlight the top two middle cells. Layer via cut, then convert to smart object. Do that for all nine cells. Next, go to canvas size and change the height to 144. Click the down arrow so the canvas expands upward. With the Move tool on, hold down Control and Alt and drag the top left corner to the top left of the document. Do the same for all four corners. Turn off the grid. You'll see that there are hard edges on the corners. With the Move tool on, Control click on one of the cells to select the layer. Double click the layer's icon to bring up the smart object in a new window. Drag the window out so we have a nice view of the main tile and the 24 by 24 cell. Using the brush tool, hold down Alt to toggle the eyedropper tool and begin going back and forth between the main tile and the smaller cell, selecting colors and painting to make the cells seamless with each other. Whenever you make a brush stroke, press Ctrl S to save the smart object and preview how it looks. The process here is eyedrop, brush, save, eyedrop, brush, save, until all four corners look good next to each other. When you're done, expand the width of the document to 264. Click the left arrow to expand the canvas to the right. We're going to make a big square shape with our tiles. Turn on the grid, and with the Move tool, Control alt drag the top corner over. Then drag the top middle object over twice, so there's two of them side by side. Drag over the top right corner, and then continue dragging over the rest of the edges. Now we're going to make placeholder smart objects for the inner corners. Make a new layer, highlight an inner corner, fill it with a color, and then convert the layer to a smart object. Make sure these are on top of all the other layers. Now we're going to complete the shape by moving the outer sides into the middle so that the right and left sides are together and the bottom and top sides are together. Turn off the grid. Now we're going to fix the hard edges of the sides so that they are seamless with both the corners and itself. Control click a layer and double click the icon to bring up the smart object. Move the window out so we can see it better. To make it seamless with itself, go to View Pattern Preview and then fix up the looped sides. You may need to turn Pattern Preview on and off to get the desired result. Now we'll make the inner corners. Use the paintbrush to draw in those corners and then fill it in to make it seamless with the sides. When you're done, turn the grid back on and control alt drag those inner corners to the top right of our auto tile. Make sure the corners are inverted so that the top left of the shape we made goes to the bottom right and so on so it looks like this. Almost done. Now we have to fix the middle. Control click the middle of our main tile to select the right layer and move it to the top of our layers above the inner corners. Control alt drag the middle four times to fill in the center of our square. It's going to cover up the inner sides and the inner corners. Open up the middle smart object, turn on pattern preview, and get to work making it seamless with the sides. Then we're done. Copy merged the auto tile and then paste it on top of an existing tile sheet. Save and test it in our game. I hope this quick tutorial was helpful. Feel free to watch my longer videos if you want a little bit more detail. If you liked this, please consider clicking that thumbs up. And while you're at it, Subscribe to watch more RPG Maker tutorials. I'll see you guys later. Bye!